Hi everybody, I am Lady Stars and Fire. I don't know if you watch the videos or not, but I do a weekly healing messages video every week, giving you whatever it is that Spirit is giving me in the astrology and the rune cast. And I just, I got to take a few moments and I got I got to come out because I'm picking up so much energy. And so, some people are doing, you know, really good with this. But there's so many more that are just really having a rough time. If you're in your head, if you're in your head too much and you're just talking shit to yourself, stop. You deserve better than self-sabotage. Stop. I don't know what you got to do to shut the madman up inside. But shut them up. Understand, spirit keeps reminding me, whether you like it, whether you know it, whether you want to admit it, and whether you accept it, it doesn't matter. You still are, for all intents and purposes, a channel. So think of it like a radio station. A radio station is a channel and it receives information, it receives music, it receives different things. And if you don't like what the radio is giving you, you turn the knob. You change the channel. So honey, if everything's giving you reasons to give you self-sabotage, that's because that's a telltale sign. Things have to change. And it's time to turn the channel. It's time to tune in to a higher frequency. You're tuning in entirely way too low. This is an example of things that need to change, is what Spirit is telling me. So it's time to change the channel. Remember, honey, I've been telling you guys for months now that what is going on is more than just the spring equinox where you come into a complete balance, which I'll get into in a minute because the balance is lasting for like two weeks, which is forcing a full-on face-off between light and dark, a full-on face-off between ego and soul, higher power, soulfulness, and ego, self-esteem, liberation. That's what all of this is about. The Spirit is telling me so many people right now are actually moving backwards and not forwards because they're getting this confused. They're getting in their head too much and they're allowing this to go backwards. And I've been saying for weeks, Spirit is taking you and moving you over here to learn a lesson and they're going to put you back. You should find yourself come full circle from the lesson you're learning right now come next month's full moon. If you're doing your homework, you should find this come full circle and start moving you into the direction you will be going. However, you won't see the light of this at least until, you know, April, you know, 5th through the 10th, I wouldn't expect. I've been saying for months from what I've been being told from spirit and from, uh, astrology and everything that this is resetting us for the next 20 years for you 20 years is a lot for energy 20 years is a blank it's up to you to make sure your next 20 years that's important to you is set right change the channel that's all you really got to do. Start turning into a higher frequency and drop the channels that don't serve you. And learn how to make it serve you by having the newer frequency, by moving up. Basically, 20 years is being set right now and it has a lot to do with what's going to be going on between now and that next full moon. I love you, babe. You deserve better than self-sabotage. You have the equinox that just happened. And for all intents and purposes, most people look at the equinox as a time of when balances. Sorry, but I need my cigarette right now. Of when things come into balance. When the equinox happens, the spring equinox is when light comes into the higher power right now. It comes in to the higher percentage of power, which also speaks to us more of our soulfulness. 
okay when it's going into a fall equinox it's going into the darker season and it's bringing in the ego a little bit darker the shadow a little bit darker well we just left the dark season we're moving into the light season but it don't feel like that and that's because mercury's still in retrograde until the 28th in pisces in the water in the tidal wave in the hurricane or in your tsunami i don't know what kind of water is knocking you down and it's over communicating because it's running out of time and then when it's in retrograde and it comes out of retrograde and goes direct on the 28th, it's still going to be in shadow for two weeks with Neptune there. What creates magic? What creates illusion? This is an illusion. You're seeing a part of mirroring that is like never been before seen for such a long, long period of time. Maybe it's mirroring your life and why you need to change the vibration. And maybe the mirror is coming at you because it's intended for you to help mirror it back to someone else so they learn what they need to change. Sometimes it is about standing in the truth of it and showing them when they're wrong as well. Mirroring has a very funny way of reflecting back what needs to be seen. But turn the vibration into what you want, the higher vibration, and your reflections will start coming back healthier. You also have Jupiter, which is in retro, well, not retrograde. It goes retrograde on the 10th. And this has everything to do with why I said part of this energy is this way. Because Jupiter is in shadow in Sagittarius, which technically is the universal ninth house, which I tell you over and over again, is your higher self. And your higher self is trying to speak to you about what you're not doing right. So ego, higher self, and soul are having a major face-off right now. Stop self-sabotage. Change the channel. And you should start to see the changes start to come to light. You should start to get past the illusion of what really is going on. Come April 5th through the 10th. And by full moon, if you're doing your homework, then you'll start to see a full circle. I love you. Change the channel. Be a better receiver that's only tuning in to higher frequencies. I love you. Bye, everybody.